Have you ever seen something that stayed with you? Something that changed your ideas, that went through and through you, like blood through water, and changed the color of your mind? Are you okay? I was just, uh... After my mom died, I couldn't stop seeing her. And even though she was gone, I was the ghost. Most parents want to keep their kids safe, to shelter us and keep us innocent. But nowhere's really safe. And nobody's really innocent. Not for long, anyway. <laughs> I'm Kathy Earnshaw. You know my dad's name. Maybe you wear the clothes he makes. He says I look just like my mom. I hate it. No sluts allowed. Since when? No boyfriend stealing backstabbing sluts then. You're finally blonde. It's cute. What'd your mom say? <laughs> Bye, Kathy. Please, I just want to find Lee. Please! That was Ellen Dean, my former BFF, until I screwed it up. Kathy! Come on, he's inside. Bella Linton. Thanks. Perfectly beautiful, perfectly nice, but if you ask me, perfect is kind of boring. It's weird to be unwelcome in a house where you used to have sleepovers. To be ignored by people who used to be your friends. You're unmistakably alone. How much you guys want? One thing about my brother Lee, he didn't cry. Even at the funeral. He's 12 in there. He just got meaner. Have a good time. More messed up. Are you kidding me? Come on. Eddie Linton, Bella's brother. The Lintons are the richest family at the Heights, even richer than mine. What's the matter, Kathy? It's not like it's the first time you've been wet. <laughs> not cool, Ellen. Ever want to do something just to see the look on everyone's face? I used to laugh a lot. I used to be savage and free. 
Yeah, they say I'm a freak. But who wants to be basic? Some people are into strange. Really into it. We missed you, Kathy. Do you want to come inside? I mean... It does something to you, losing your mom. You're always waiting for her to, I don't know, come back, make it better, say it's gonna be okay. And when she doesn't come back, you're just abandoned. Lee had a death wish. He drank too much, smoked too much, drove too fast, too high, on the wrong side of the road. But when you're as rich as the Earnshaws, nobody can tell you no. Pull over! Just chill out. Do you have any idea who I am? I'm an Earnshaw. That's great. License registration proof insurance, please. So I had no friends, barely a brother, you doing any drinking today? and a dad too sad to function. I wore her ring for comfort, but it was no. just a stone, no. No. hard and cold. I long for someone, someone to talk to, to touch, someone who wouldn't leave me. I didn't realize I was conjuring exactly what I wanted or that it would ruin us all. Look, we knew the petition wouldn't work. INS doesn't care about petitions. They said they would deport, and that's what they did. Yeah, but all of them. I mean, they took all of them and left the boy. Uh, it's just not right. It's just not right. Wrong. I can't find my watch. You're wearing it. The one mom gave me. Did you sell it? No! You sold a lot of stuff. Get out of here. Get out of here! For a while, we saw therapists. Mine said I had to forgive. It's hard to forgive when every day I walk past the room where I saw mom's face all over the floor. I used to have lots of people to sit with. Now I felt trapped with people who hated me. Oh, she's staring again. I can't even with her. Anyway, what time should I sneak out tonight? We could take the party at 11. I was cured of wanting friends. Yeah. At least that's what I told myself. Anyway, it's on Friday. There was only one place where I could go to get the images out of my head. Kathy, yeah, ten minute warning. You got theater class coming in pretty soon, okay? Okay, thanks, Mr. Reed. You're welcome. Kathy? Hey. Eddie, hey. Those are cool. Kind of remind me of uh, German expressionism, like Metropolis or The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. I don't know what that is. It's film nerd stuff.
So how are you doing? I'm okay. How'd you like our party? I didn't. Oh yeah, it was so lame. How come you never hang out? You know why. Ellen? Come on, she's over it. She had her moment and called you guys some names and you know, now she's cool. It's boring without you, Kathy. You are the party whisperer, remember? I'll get your hands dirty. You know how I feel about you. Since sixth grade, you've known. Just say the word. See you after class. Mr. Josephs. Goodbye, Linton. <sighs> Ms. Earnshaw, I thought I'd find you here. Are you going to grace us with your presence today? Oh, that's right. No one tells an Earnshaw what to do. Just look at what it did to your brother and your mother, too. What did you just say? Help class, now. You are out of line. And all of you are gonna coddle this family right to the grave. The only favor, of course, is intercourse within the confines of marriage. Unplanned pregnancy, STDs, abstinence is how you prevent those. I added the flare up since Holden told me that you gave him the herbs, and now you like art. So, yeah, I did something stupid with Ellen's boyfriend. It wouldn't be the last stupid thing I did. Kathy! Hey! <laughs> Our parents are doing Jackson Hole this weekend, so me and Bella are gonna throw a rager on Friday night. No, it's a party. A classy one for once. Yeah, classy. I mean classy. It's a secrets and seduction party. So you have to wear a dress and a mask. What kind of dress will you be wearing? Oh, well that's my secret. Eddie, what are you doing? <laughs> Kath. Are you still in the Lockwood? No. Helen? Hell no. So then, what's the problem? Can we just squash this already? Get in the car! Gotta go. See ya. Come to the Grange, Kathy. She likes you too. You think? Ellen. What they did with Lockwood wasn't right, but, I mean, she found her mom. She found her. I know. Total bitch, you know that? Yeah, I'm a raging bitch. And you're an employmentally challenged druggy loser. Hey, hey, I don't want any of that garbage coming out of your mouth, okay? Come on. Wait. What is that around your neck? It's just. You just what? It doesn't belong to you. I needed $30 for yearbook money. I went to one of your drawers and it was just sitting there. You say no. I put it there. Now take it off. But then I don't have anything. Take it off. He couldn't even look me in the eye. To him, she wasn't my mother, just his wife. Hello, I'm talking to you. Hello! Hey. Hey. Nice. You know what? You guys actually know each other. Obviously, you don't remember, but. You all used to play together for quite a while, every time uh, we went down to the factory to visit. Anyway, Kathy, this is... Heath. I remember. Well, Heath here is, um, he's gonna be staying 
with us for a while. Why? Because I just said so. Why is he our problem? He's a U.S. citizen. He's the son of my very best employee. His mother, she worked for me for 20 years. She was taken away uh, yesterday. And we're not sure of her whereabouts, so I owe it to her to look after her son. That's all you really need to know. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, uh, you two will be going to school together. It's all been arranged, okay? Don't you remember me? Sir? Hey. How are you, son? Listen, about going to school. Yeah? I'd rather just work. Look, I know and I understand you work to, to help your mother out. And that's really a very, very noble thing to do. But you should know how to do that at an early age. Finishing your education is really important, okay? Thanks, but I need the money to bring my mom back. No, no, I told you I'm working on bringing Teresa back, right? Look, you're a good kid, and um, I promise you everything's going to be okay. How long are we supposed to wait? Oh, tell them these are real people. Well, then tell them to do their jobs. Why doesn't he have to be here? Listen, 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 listen. Just, uh, I'll fill them out myself. Send over whatever you got, okay? He's in the room. some clothes too. I'm good. Just take them. What, because I'm a charity case? Oh. I don't like nobody touching me. Hey, stop. Hey, I'm talking to you. I thought we were friends. How are we friends? I haven't seen you in 10 years. Let's be real. You couldn't stand being seen with the help. That's not how it was. I, I was just stupid. I, I was chasing after people who weren't even worth it. Yeah, them. so I'm right. But I didn't just forget about you. I thought about you every day. Stop following me. Heath, please, don't leave. If you're leaving, take me with you, because I can't handle it in here. It's like there's a dark cloud in here infecting everything. Look, I'm sorry about your mom. Everybody wants something from me, but I don't have anything. They want me to be a good student, a good friend, a good daughter, be funny, be fun, be nice, but I'm none of those things. I'm nothing. You're not nothing. We used to go to the pantry when we had to be alone. Stop faking being good little kids and just be ourselves. We'd make forts, remember? That's not all we do. When my mom first died, I wanted her to haunt me. I prayed for it. Dad had nightmares about her, and Lee said he heard her come at her window, and knock and say, I'm home, let me in. 
but she never came to me. I stole a ring from Dad's drawer because I don't know. I guess I guess I thought it'd bring me closer to her. Maybe it would help her find me or something. I look at the ocean and I see her face in the waves. I see her in every cloud, every tree. Sometimes I feel like the whole world is just one big, awful memory. Hello? Yes. Azula, hold on. Katerina? Sorry, I just... Excuse me. It's pretty good. You do this? You don't recognize the artist? Um, it's Kathy. Kathy, my daughter Kathy. Yeah. Kathy did all of this? Look, she did all of these. I never really. Take a look. This is pretty unbelievable. Tell me about it. Man, that's amazing. If I asked you to draw me something, would you? If you asked me something. So you two bone yet or what? One's gonna be pissed they didn't get in first. <laughs> He already does. I've only been in your house a hot minute and I've already seen the hate he has for you in his eyes. So come on. Give me something good to show your old man. What are you doing? Lee? Nobody push you around. Nobody. <laughs> Let me get our bags. I wished I could keep Heath in a bubble away from the others. He was so real to me, so much more than everyone else. Kathy, what are you doing? I just... 
Who's this? This is, uh, this is Eddie Linton. Um, Eddie, this is Heath. He lives with us now. He, he what? Wait, oh my god, what happened to your face? Oh. Here. Come on, get in. What's going on? He needed a place to stay, so he's staying with us. No, I mean, did he hurt you? What? No, I'm fine, Lee hit him. Eddie, he needs the nurse. Okay, well, let's go to school already then. This way. No, I'm straight. No, but Heath, Heath, it's this way. When the Lintons got a puppy, Bella hugged it so Heath. hard it bit her. I guess she didn't learn her lesson. I don't know what your father was thinking. I mean, yeah, give him some money or help him out or whatever, but he actually let that kid in your house? You don't know Heath. Do you? Eddie would never understand. He and Heath were as different as moonlight and lightning. Is he? Where did he come from? Look, I get it, okay? He's not good enough for a little party. You don't want us there, just say it. I do want you there. You should be careful. Thanks for the super condescending advice. You met Heath like a second ago. I'm just looking out for you. You're afraid of him. No, I'm not. Then you're afraid of me. Why are you spending so much time with me, Eddie? What do you really want from me? You think I'm easy? Please, I, I don't want to fight. You think I'm a slut? Admit it. No, I... Do you want another Lockwood situation? Oh, another situation where you think I'm being a slut? No, but you're kind of a crappy judge of character. What a bitch. Kathy, Kathy, wait. Hey, dude. Hey. Do not touch him. I totally forget about her, bro. You're in charge of who's in the group and who's not. Okay, her mom died, and the way you treat her just makes me sick. I'm done with it, okay? Okay? Okay. And we smile, right? We're, we're friends. Okay. And I thought you were the sweet one. No. Oh, on that. In the U.S., 700 and 50,000 teenage girls get pregnant each year, 80% of which are unintended. I assume you're helping our new student with notes. Yep. Well, it seems your level of disrespect has reached a new low. Seems like. Detention, both of you. I don't care. Stop it. Do it. Stop it, Earnshaw. That's enough. Stop. Stop it. That's it. Stop it.
Oh, you so homie. What's up, Carlos? What's up, brother? Good to see you, man. Yeah, man, it's been a minute. Yeah. What's up, homie? Hey, Lucho! Chewy! Yo! What's up? Hey, guys, this is uh, Kathy. What'd you do, homie? Brought me a party favor? Here's a favor. I might don't kick your teeth in just this once. <laughs> Order oh, Lily! Okay, little badass. Why don't you get some beer, man? Get drunk. Do something I wouldn't do. This is not hurting, buddy, honey. I've never been to a party like this. <laughs> oh, Whenever you look at me like that, I'm your slave. I love you like this. I always loved you. When I'm with you, I have to remind myself to breathe. Get inside. Come here. What's the matter with you? He's trouble. He's a kid. You're 20 years old. You get that crap off your nose. Now go. Feel good. Well, I don't feel too damn good myself. Principal called, said you and uh, Heath are skipping school, trashing the joint. Is that right? Kathy, you better answer me. I'm tired, okay? Leave me alone. Hey, I don't need any of that crap, okay? I gotta deal with your brother, now you want me to start worrying about you? All you ever cared about is your stupid company. No wonder mom killed herself. I'm sorry. I just can't stop seeing her. Everywhere I look, I see her face. And it's just the way I found it. Her face was gone, Dad. And everyone keeps going on with their lives like nothing happened. And I don't know why she did that to herself. And you're, you're never around and you never... And I just don't feel that you care. And I don't, I can't handle you hating me, Dad. Please stop hating me.
the next two weeks, uh, you go to school, you come right home. And that's that. Kathy, I don't hate you. First day of school, the talk and suspension already. What do you got to say for yourself? I'm gonna talk to my mom. When I find her, okay, I, I open my home to you. I'm not, I'm, I'm not asking for any gratitude, but I am asking you to tell me why are you so angry? Why? Today was my birthday. My mom's never missed a birthday. Maybe she tried calling, but I mean, she couldn't get through. But what if she called the factory? Yeah, maybe I'll, um, I'll check that out. Look, I'm sorry for my part, okay? But look, I'm more sorry for getting Kathy into trouble. I'll be better, I swear. We'll, um, we'll celebrate your birthday this weekend. Right? Yeah, if we make it that long. What does that mean? Lee, look, he, he needs help, like rehab. Look, Mr. Earnshaw, I had a friend just like that. Died of an overdose. Like, when he took us to school, he was drunk and he was high. If you don't believe me, you could go smell the inside of his ride. Yeah. I mean, it's, it stinks, like, like whiskey. I just don't want to see him dead in that car. Or Kathy with him. Yeah, thanks. Well, I guarantee he's not driving anymore. And we can walk. No problem. You got a license? Yeah. Well, how's this? You keep your word, you clean up your act, and you can drive the Porsche until we figure this stuff out. No, but I mean, that's Lee's car. I already have too many problems with him. What's Lee's car? Who pays bills around here? Lee's got nothing. What are you talking about? It's my car. You're driving it. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. You pack the things and we're leaving now. Dad, don't dad me. If you want one dime, you'll do as I tell you. I don't have a problem, okay? No, I have a problem, and it's with you. Now get your shit together. So I got grounded, and you got Lee's car. You're good. You're like really scary good. Wish. It's not my birthday, though. Why did you lie? I'm mean, to punk Lee. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't need us to do that. You know, Karma's a bitch. Yeah, but Karma won't enjoy it as much as I do. Eddie didn't want Heath at his party. I tried to sneak him in anyway. Why are we here? I just want to see. He can't see you, even when you're in front of him. They act all classy, they look all shiny, but it's just masks. I don't ever want to be like them, never. And what do you want to be? Myself. I want to be myself. And I, want to, and I want to be fancy and shiny. I want it all.
still in love with her, even after she yelled at you. There's a light that follows her, like an actress in a movie. She's just, I don't know, she's, she's wild, but. You like that? Heath. Where's Heath? I don't know. When I found you, it was just you and my dogs, so he must have run away. He wouldn't do that. We have to get you to the hospital. No, I'm supposed to be grounded. Don't you have anything here? I'll go to the doctor tomorrow. I just, please don't get me into any more trouble. Mom keeps the first aid kit in the guest bathroom. Spy much, Ellen? You should have come to the front door. We would have let you in. Eddie doesn't like Keith. He'll deal with it for you. yourself again. <laughs> the party's out there. I can stop. If... No, he take it. Here, just squeeze my hand if it hurts. Everyone outside was so worried about you. You should join the party. They'll be so happy you're okay. I'm not dressed. So, you can borrow from me. There. Why are you guys being so nice to me? I don't deserve it. You don't have to deserve it. We're your friends. Yeah. We care. I'll go find you a dress. He can't come in. Please, just for five minutes. No, I have Kathy! orders that he is. Hey, where is she? Where's Kathy? Where's she here? I said get out. Oh my god, stop. Get out of here. Get out of here. Boy, you can't take me alone, rich boy. Throw him out. Get out of here. 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 Get Stop with your clothes. You forgot about me. Again. No. Eddie said you'd left. Keith, come on. They're nice people. They really are. If you just talk to them. Can you try for me? Please, Keith. We'll just stay for a little while, okay? You look fake. What's her? I remember what your mom used to say. Sparkle, sparkle, healy, healy. Do you miss your old school? What happened to your parents? Oh God, I'm sorry that that was nosy. You're fine. You're quiet and small, like a good girl. <laughs> Not so good. You know we do have bathrooms. They have soap and everything, so you could uh, clean up if you wanted. Clean this. <laughs> Coming? 
If he loved you forever with everything you have, he couldn't love you as much as I do in one day. He's not one of us, Kathy. He never will be. I had been alone for so long, I just wanted someone. And suddenly there were two choices reaching out to me. Eddie was safe, boring. Heath was exciting, but, well, if I didn't know he was dangerous by then, I was about to find out. Kathy. In the dark, staring at me. Look. He looked like a demon. I, uh, I didn't know what he wanted from me, but suddenly I was afraid. In the morning, there was a hole in the wall size of his fist. You understand the terms of your probation? Yes, Miss Bell. You're wasting your breath on these two. Your father made a very generous donation to our library, and he's agreed to replace the damaged books. But I expect you and Heath to do some volunteer work as a public show of contrition. Screw this. Excuse me, Heath. He'll do it. it he listens to me. Please, he's had a hard time. The homecoming dance is a good opportunity. You can help with concessions. Yeah, we will. And he'll be there, I swear. You're getting soft. Those two should have been expelled. Did you punch the wall last night? I, I thought you were done with me. What? No. No, but, but don't do that, okay? If you're mad, just talk to me. I'm not done with you. I, I can't imagine anything without you. In my future, Kathy. My world. My soul. What are you doing? I'm going with you. But you don't have study hall. So? Just go to class, please. We promised Dad that we'd do better. I really don't want to get into trouble again. Whatever. Why do you even try? I get that you're never going to like Heath but don't talk about him. So you guys excited for the homecoming dance? Yeah, homecoming. Uh, did you want to go with me? I'm working the dance, so I can't really go with anybody, but I'll see you there. Can you not bring me? She's her own person. I know. Just, just try. Okay. Ellen, do you have Thing you want to say to Kathy? 
Yeah. I'm sorry. You're sorry? You know, for spreading all those rumors about you and Alden Lockwood. No, I'm, I'm sorry about Lockwood. It, it was stupid. And he was so, so stupid. <laughs> What's he doing? He doesn't like going to class. Why doesn't he just go home? He likes to be near me. It's not creepy at all. If you spent some time with him, you'd see he's nice. <laughs> no. But neither am I. You know what we should do? We want to go shopping. We want you to drive us. Come on. What are we doing? We're going to the Malibu Country Mart to bond. You can't come. Your brother said so. I don't want to start any more drama. We'll hang out soon, just us. Bye. Hey, Eddie. Can I talk to you for a sec? Yeah, yeah. Okay, catch you in. Uh, what's up, sis? Are you stupid? What do you like watching Heath just take Kathy away from you? There's nothing I can do about it. If you let me hang out with them, I can work on breaking them up. No, just don't even talk to him, Bella. <laughs> I can do what I want. It wasn't even about Lockwood. It was you. You were my best friend. I'm sorry. I just, you really needed me and I wasn't there for you. It's scary what anger does to you. I mean, it made me like a different person. Yeah, I know. People change. I feel different too and not all of it good. But you know what? We're back to normal now. And in my defense, I did not think people would believe what I said about you and Lockwood. <laughs> Turns out people are pretty stupid. What are you doing? You're going to the dance. <laughs> no. Yes. So you're gonna need something to wear. She wants me to be like him. You'll never look like Eddie Linton. He looks like a Ken doll. A lot scarier. Also a lot more. I don't know, just more. So why won't Kathy stop talking to him? Here's a tip. She already likes you. So enough with all the possessiveness. You don't have to try so hard. Just be yourself. Trust me. Ready to try something? Gonna wear your suit? No. You're not gonna try anything to fit in just to get along with everyone else? I don't ever wanna be like those people, okay? Well, forget it then. Stay here and sulk by yourself. Hey, can I see my daughter for a minute, please? Thanks, man. Um, here, uh, just, just 
so beautiful, like your mother. Hey, um, how many dates you got tonight? I bet the whole school asked you out, right? Just Eddie Linton. Well, he's not a bad kid. I mean, give the kid a break, one dance, all right? I love you. This might sound weird, but if you ever want to talk, hey. Get off me, dumb bitch. Get away from me. Is you about to get your ass kicked, man? Don't come looking for me. What a jackass. So, how are things? I have volunteer's remorse. You look amazing. Where's Twilight? I don't know. But you are so drama. <laughs> wow. You look different. Why aren't you with your little crew? <sighs> After all that drama, I was the first one who was nice to Kathy. I was the one who played matchmaker with her and Eddie. Now she has all she wants, and she ditched me, like she ditched you. Eddie said she'd be done with you soon. I didn't think you'd be this soon. So you're alone? Isn't that Heath right there? You know, I think it's all an act. You being so tough. Underneath, that you're really sweet. Just like I like to act nice. I'm really a bad girl. You know the way he treats you? That's not love. What is it then? Kathy, I love you.
He's like heaven, and Heath is hell. It's spelled, but we'll hold. You gotta give this kid a chance. I'm afraid it's too late for that, Mr. Earnshaw. No, no, listen to me, okay? That's ridiculous. I mean, you gotta be kidding me. Kids get into fights all the time. You don't think calling the police is a little excessive? Well, maybe if you would discipline these children yourself, the police department wouldn't have to. It's, it's completely ridiculous. <coughs> Mr. Earnshaw, hello? I can't stop loving him. I never will. Because we have the same soul. We're the same. I love Heath. I am here. Kathy. Kathy. Kathy, your dad. He was on the phone in the office. He's having a heart attack. What? Right now. I... <laughs> Lee's eyes were clear again, but I could see his hands shaking. The night he died, your father made substantial changes to his will. Those changes all concern Heath. I tried to contact him, but... Uh... He's gone. Yes. Closest I can gather is he went to Mexico to find his mother. Who cares? Your father did. Said he wanted Heath to be provided for. Kathy, your father left half of his estate to you. The other half is for Heath. Lee, you've been disinherited. He said you wouldn't know why. Since you have no other living relatives, I will act as trustee over Kathy's estate until she's 18. We'll work these things out, Lee. Just give me some time and I will work it out. Thank you, Mr. Green. Keith didn't come back or call. Nobody could find him. It was like he never existed. But he never left my mind. After Dad died, Eddie was so kind. I knew he loved me. He was such a good person. 
But for every time I thought of Hetty, I thought of Heath a thousand times. They were all gone. Mom and Dad dead. Lee barely able to speak. Heath just vanished. How many ghosts can one family have? When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. Isaiah says, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. From dust you came, and to dust you shall return. So, where are you going? I'm going home. I'm so sorry, Katerina, Lee. I just, I just can't do this anymore. What are you talking about? Be careful, me. The key's not working in the lock. I got them changed. You're on my property now. What are you talking about? What did you do to Zilla? I fired her. I'm rich now. I mean, that's what rich people do, right? You use them up and then you throw them out. You know, the funny thing is, it was my birthday. I was straight up with Earnshaw and I lied to you. My 18th. I got full access to my accounts. So technically, I'm the legal owner of this house. Which means that you, and you are homeless now. How could Dad have done this? What did you do? Well, me? You're the one that broke into a safe to sell his dead wife's jewelry to buy drugs. Or at least that's what I told him. Heath, no. Now get the hell off my property before I call the police. But Lee's rehab. It's cut off. But here. Upon that. Hopefully you make enough to die of an overdose. You go to hell. Heath, no! Heath, stop! Please! Heath! Heath, leave me here! Please, open the Catherine, door! Kathy, let's just go. Leave me alone! Okay, I'm really starting to get tired of this. Hold it, please! Heath! Heath, open the door, please! Heath! Mom says you need vitamin C to combat stress. Mom also says you can stay as long as you like. I think I need to go back over there. Talk with him. I'm afraid of what he'll do to you if you see him. I'm afraid of what he'll do if I don't. We don't have to go in. Hey, Carlos. Hey, little badass. Have you seen Heath? He's out back holding court. us out in the end, it was the beginning of his plan to punish us. He was putting on a show and he wanted me to see it.
What are you doing here? This is my house. He's busy. Oh, what are you, his guard dog? We're in love. <laughs> he is not in love with you. I'm sorry if he's telling you that. He might love me if you've let him. Okay, have fun. Hey, stay away from him. Stop, guys! me an hour ago. Uh, Are you all right? Get me out of this place. Uh, let's go to the beach. OK. Stupid skank! Shut up. Oh my god. What do I do? Same thing as me. Get the hell away from here. great and you're everything that I should want. But I can't lie to you. You deserve better than that. Friend zoned. <laughs> That's what I get for being nice. I put in the time and I put up with all of this and for what? So I can get friend zoned? It's not like I'm some sort of prize. I have my own messed up feelings and I... I can't stop with Heath, okay? I hate it, but I can't stop. I love him. You use people, Kathy. You're just like him. You two deserve each other. Yeah, we do. Kathy! At least I'd be in your life still. You're sick. Look, I can fix it all. I can help Lee, I can fix the house, whatever you want me to do. Kathy, I love you. Look at me. You have to have a heart to feel pity. And you broke mine. I didn't break your heart, you did. Look at me. I love you. I do. But I never want to see you again. Wait. I knew I'd never stop wanting Heath. And that's why I had to leave. But I couldn't live without my soul. Be 
Leave us alone! What did you do to her? What did you do? Leave us alone! This time I'm fine. Still can't pause the madness. Moving on and falling back. May have been my time. Where's her brother? Who you knows today? He just didn't come. I'm doing fine, just fine. He's got her money now. I guess that's all he needs. Lee didn't take my money. Maybe that's why he survived. He found the love and the strength to forgive himself. Kathy's mother used to bring her here every Sunday, singing, laughing, and getting everyone else to join in. With the brightest eyes, the sweetest smile, and the kindest heart. In the last year, Kathy suffered from terrible losses. First her mother, whom she so resembled, and then her father, whom she so loved. Pain changes and the Kathy we used to keep expecting Heath to appear too. Sad and unfortunately vulnerable. Her death is not just a tragic loss of a promised life, but the he loved Kathy so much. One of its most I figure he'll just want to stretch himself over her grave and die like a faithful dog. But we will always remember you as you were, a free spirit whose spirit is now free. your story just don't go too far and your personal effects
Mom never came to me. I went to her. But I lingered around Heath, then under that falling sky. I watched the waves and the rain, listened to the sound of him breaking. And I wondered how anyone could ever rest in peace, resting in this unquiet earth. Covered in white 